DVD collection. First one. This is only season one. Seventeen hours and five minutes. There's the episode guy if I want to look in there. See some I yeah me uses only have two of them because thirty stick ones. Fifty three hours and forty nine minutes. Whatever. The second and last yes, DVD DVD of my collection. I forgot there's no, this is actually fifty hours on there, so yeah, I think I could. Three hour difference, I believe. Something like that. Whatever. And this is my only look only DVD in my Paramount collection, at least, I think. Actually, that is my firm one. This is a poster. It came with a poster in there. Like the original one, but I put it and hanged it up, so yeah, it's nice when it's not in here. By the way, I don't I mentioned this in the, my uh, my DVD unboxing this that I believe this is DVD that season four was actually rated fifteen in Europe. Or um, maybe twelve or I'm not, I know maybe like twelve or something, I'm not sure. But I think it is, but I think she's in those of the yeah, find it out. I do not have the first two such so I like to get them on laser scrap beliefs and the other version of it. Here's the fourth version, or first form I should say. This is, I think, I think this is a Canadian, this is a Canadian G Star Trek film, which is not that common for these. The first one, I believe. Here's the fifth film. If you hear the background noise, it's actually normal, so don't mind putting that in the comments. Here's a sixth film. Fun fact: I believe that this could uh, this could actually be part of a box if you don't know. But I think it's only for the first couple of films. I think I mentioned that. This is my second 9/11 documentary. By the way, this DVD surprisingly, this DVD is actually doesn't have any raw on there, but even not so much. Also, this in the video, I got in the video, I just did something super, something 
Mass 23 when the twin when the worship sister got bombed and I mean I think I should have cut that out but whatever whatever I'm gonna keep it in there. I don't know why I did that anyways. I think I should I don't really uh, I'm not sure is it quick, but I think I should have seen a video or something. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the case is kind of cracked right there, as you can see right there, but who cares at all? It's plastic, anyways. I don't know what feature set, and the thing was actually sealed still. This one is the 2006 DVD, this is the Uncommon Extended Edition, and this is the 2000 DVD Master. Next is this one here. I have not seen another book feature set that actually is in this type of uh, cover, so I'm keep this still for that. This is a 2013 one, just how old it is. This one is the 2010 DVD, and this two is the 2001 DVD. The sequel. I got this recently as for I'm actually making a DVD update. I think some of these videos I didn't put in there, but I'm just gonna do it in this video because I don't think I'm just gonna waste more space and make a ton of necessary videos. One of the Fox ones. One of my two Fox War, Fox War Classics DVDs. Whatever, I don't care. I gotta mention that I have the 1981 Magnetic video release of this. I don't think I have any of these movies on different formats. At least right now. This is from the airport ones at least. Wait, this is my second, my second Fox World Classic Studio, my last one. This is, this is actually a G rated war film, and this is also a black and white film that's in, it's actually a widescreen. I do not, if I remember correctly, that that much back and white films are actually in like 25 to 1 aspect ratio, which is really, really weird. Just to fit the theme with like the, in, in the movie. I'm also gonna make this, I'm just gonna just, by the way, I seen It's a Mad Mad World a couple of months ago, it's actually a pretty good movie, I'm gonna need to watch that. This is the Five Star Collection DVD. Yeah, I'm gonna go back here again. So I had actually three liters. I have the 1990, 1981 liters, the 1994 liters, the 1999 liters, the 19. <gasps> Then there's going to be 4 liters, 1991 liters, and like, that's pretty much it. I plan to get the Dr. Doolittle movie on laser disc, but I actually am planning to get that, but it's probably going to take us some time. By the way, fact, if you, if you don't know, I believe some of these DVD releases of the Independence Day film, they you either have this master or a different master, so I'm not sure why. This is a different variant because this is probably like a newer pro copy. Because this has like a like a yellow shade here, even though the original copy only is plain white and that's it. This is things like when did the last DTS DVDs made until they completely totally digital instead. Two thousand twelve DVD. This is actually another D test DVD. This 
this is my only Fishy Fox DTS DVD. DTS ES DVD, I should say. Fun fact this movie is actually coupled, is actually this movie in a national region by DreamWorks in America. North America, North America, I should say. By Fox. So let's put these around because it's supposed to be like that. Well, I'm just showing this is spoiler. Some, some of these series I do not, I did not show you guys, so whatever. I'm gonna cook you anyways. This was an obvious one I showed you guys a lot. I think this is probably one of the original copies that was sold in 2006 because it has everything in there. Next one is a movie I haven't heard look for and I finally have in my collection. This actually had the Columbia TriStar DVD logo in the beginning of it, so this is this is false. I'm gonna go to the next one now. And now it's the DVD I never showed you guys in all my channel. This one. This is my own decision films and grown up pictures I'm ever gonna get. And fun fact, I don't think this movie has gotten a release in physical media and widescreen at least. I think the only they got this in, in, in widescreen is actually in the streaming services or TV, I'm not sure. But anyway, I, don't have, I, never seen, I don't think this movie ever is on TV that much. So who cares about this movie, anyways? Most of all, the newer times movies are usually just like episodes that are just combined and that's this film as a movie and that's it. And they're boring. And they're not even, they're only on TV anyway, so that's not really the point at all. This is a blockbuster rental. By the way, fun fact, blockbuster actually is going to buy Netflix and they actually get a night and that's actually how Backbuster Mirror died. I don't know why they didn't do that. So September 16th, 2007, which is when it was rentals. This, this, this DVD was entered from Blockbuster in, I believe, it's November 7th, 2004. So for me, this movie was released before that. This DVD was released before that year, that time. By the way, I, I have it in the old. I have it somewhere in the old storage room where it actually has this DVD already. So, eventually, when I get the whole newer house, I'm going to get rid of this because I already have a copy of it in the old house. So, I'm going to eventually just get that. And I did not have this one originally. It wasn't the first one at all. I think these two are the first you used to have the Columbia Stressor Home Ent the, No, the Slim Pictures Home Entertainment logo on there. And I believe that. And this is going to be a noble feature opening soon. I need to come over here. Finally, for this part one of it. It's a short resolution. Marine staff surgeon Aaron Eckhart and his tattoo will take on an enemy and like they've ever encountered when hostile alien invaders attack the plan. This epic sci fi action film. That's it. Pretty much. We have another cut. So, yeah. So, here is. 
Now the other one over here. By the way, for fun fact, I believe that the that the wearing local from 2017 or 2018 is still being used even though they changed their home the, the film logo. I don't know why. This is actually first in three dollars on Amazon I it's I remember. And then I think this is five bucks. I believe you can actually buy this of only a film in some stores, but yeah. And about feature set. It's only section only one this is kinda of convenient. Outbreak is the 2009 DVD and the 2011 DVD, I believe. This is a 2013 box set. Let's just say, no feature set. This DVD is released in 2018. So we probably got some time there around that time period. This is the 2000 DVD and this is the 2016 DVD. Is it actually? Yeah, 2015. So right there, so. I mean, wrong, but I don't care. Here are the other features said I got earlier this year. 2020s, this isn't like a new one or anything. I'm gonna last it at the end of last year. This one is the is the 2018 or no, 2017 DVD of Crossline, and this is the, is the 2014 DVD of Godzilla. The 2006 DVD. Next year is the Minmax logo, then the Warner logo. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna put the camera down for a moment. But let's continue. I do have the first one in storage, which I'm gonna get out soon. Actually, my second copy of this, but I got my first copy already. All these are in good condition, so being scratched to death when my copy was. I'm gonna go put this back already. Here are the other ones right now. This is the uh, sequel. This back card still hasn't been used.
here's the third one. By the way, I do not have this. Um, I do not have this. Um, I do not have this film in extended cut. As I was about to say, but whatever. That was the second film. It was a previous mention before. I did not have the third cut of this film and next, next, the extended cut of the third film. Let's just see. I forgot to mention about the Impasted DVD right there. I went across the good one and I actually found a copy that had like the clear disc right here. And for some reason, discs 2, 3, and 4 actually are clear. Well, those are just not clear. I do not know why I'm not sure why that is. But whatever, I'm gonna watch something that probably happened years ago. I think like, this box is actually really cool. The only MGM DVD in my collection. By the way, do not confuse Stanley Kubrick with Stanley Kramer. Both two different people at the same time. This is my only Merrimax DVDs in my collection. Both of these got latest releases, but I'm not going to get them because I have these already. This actually, this is actually this this movie. This documentary actually got a release by LunaVision and Merrimax themselves. I do not know why. At least twice on the format, but whatever. I think interesting this one. I think I'm not sure which one, but I believe one of these films actually when they play is actually. I think this is possible a direct to video release because for some reason when I put it in some of, one of these that when I put it when I first play it actually showed the Mirror Maximum Entertainment logo. Just put it on there because it's just whatever. This video got recently. Unfortunately the whole thing that's kinda damaged, but whatever, don't care. I want to mention that this is DVD does not have the DTS logo so as, as the other DVDs I showed before. I think the Simpsons one. But... This is a different case in the case it's kind of damaged. I'm kind of just different one. This is a very interesting area because it's the Canadian thing right there. It's not in the right place. This actually has the uh, lunar. It has uh, no. I not I mean, yes, the lunar home entertainment. I meant that this actually has the same home uh, touch. Oh my god! This has the touch the home entertainment look from this DVD, but it actually is cropped like 
it's actually not coming to actually actually put a black box in the left and right of it of the four by three and uh, I do not know why they did that that release that release then I only do TS only DVD from this come from I uh, have my collection by the way I actually want to do a point to this on the Xbox one because I think it has a DTS encoder in it, and I put this in the DTS thing, it actually worked on there with the sound. So yeah, I'm gonna do that eventually. There are some portable DVD players, there are some portable DVD players that actually support DTS, but I put it only supports the digital maps, pretty much it. This is probably a, like a, this is possibly a mail because it doesn't have a barcode. By the way, this DVD and the next DVD have the Adobe Digital, have the DTS Piano logo. I do not have any Adobe Digital, I don't have any DVDs that have the Adobe Digital logo. This is my homemade DVD of the, of, so, of homemade DVDs. I have. Fun fact: I heard from a video that that in Britain this was actually the highest, like like the like the most sales they ever in the, like in the ten years lifespan. This was like the most and like the most like in, like in all in total. This was like the most bought like physical form of media in Britain in like the entire history of it. Pretty cool. Huh? Well, it's not like BHS, which is like eight percent like America or something. Like nineteen eighty one, which is extremely like, stupidly early. Two thousand five, beauty. It doesn't show the SKG text and like the, the pictures in the bottom of it. Like, it just shows G marks, and that's it. This one does not have a the the DTS according to what even thought. Uh, we just did. For some reason, after the the Universal Pictures Home Entertainment logo, it actually goes straight to the film, and that's it. This is manually just that it's not accessed from its in, in there entirely. I forgot to mention this is it, duty. I forgot that now that the time machine and and the the last cast castle duties have the stop the DTS piano, and this one also has it. And the Super Power and duty is in my only duty. I have that has the original probably the DT original DTS on logo. Jesus, stirring <laughs> today. This is vented on on January six two thousand eight. And this is a 2007 DVD. Oh, okay, I saw cases of the this DVD and the DVD from Jarhead, which I'm gonna show, which I'm gonna show in a moment, because I believe that I actually put in a blockbuster case originally, but it was damaged. So put in a different one. This one had. The thing is, it's actually. The movie's three hours, and even when the Titanic could, didn't, it could only fit on one disc. In the, the fact, Titanic was actually, as I was saying, Titanic was actually turned into two like parts, and the movie even thought they should have put like the entire movie on one disc. I do not know why they even did that. Two thousand six DVD. This movie is co-produced by DreamWorks and Ablin Entertainment. It's also an 18A DVD, I don't know. Yeah, back noises are getting weird today. Probably weirder than the, the Big Bang Theory, but who cares about that? Here's the Jarhead DVD I mentioned before. Jeez, this didn't have a tape sticker on that when it not the, the, the DVD. This is 
This was in their 1880s DVD for an arm room movie. Also, at one point, I was digging through a couple, like, a DVD, and, like, my grandpa's screen, I was about to sell, and there was a movie that was rated PG, and it was actually Canadian R. Yep, that happened at one point. We're almost done right now, so, yeah. Here's Jaws. Two thousand sixteen DVD. Or is it it isn't? Yes, I don't know two thousand eighteen. My apologies. I actually got rid of the tick uh, got rid of the receipts from each of these DVDs because I didn't want people to like see the damn things. Next to some DVDs I haven't shown you in a long time. This is a DTC unit. I also checked for any logos, but it doesn't have one. This is actually a used DVD from Amazon. So yeah, the cool thing about this DVD. And I forgot to mention this is a region for you because it came from, if you live in Australia, New Zealand, watch it over there. It's cool. This is actually a clear case because it is in the back, but I'm going to the artwork in a different video. But This is still sealed. Cool music video DVD. This is my Mill Creek DVD because I only have two of them. I have a v I have the VHS version of this. I think it's actually on in stars, but it's only on like an on demand thing. This is actually a widescreen version of it. I found like something with like this and like the but the Nickelodeon DVD boxing that I did, the cover has different artwork than the actual one DVD that's actually there. Six hours and thirteen minutes. Her disclosure has first two parts of the VHS tape. This two includes the first, last two parts of the VHS tape. I'm only glad this is so I can watch it on this on this good format. No. Now, Tommy, Tommy Lee Jones is an actor in this movie, if you don't know. I'm not sure what TV is, I'm not sure. Whatever it is. No DVD I haven't seen turning in the channel. It's a 17 DVD, actually. You see, Miss Covey, you want to, but I don't think it works anymore. Because. Yeah, probably doesn't work anymore. Who cares? You could try it at least if it was working good for you. Get a copy of American Guns 13 part of the series, but I'm not sure. I don't like it. And this is actually 4 hours and 46 minutes, even though it's only on one disc. That's a lot of data. This is like my only sort of entertainment DVD that's moved separately. This is we haven't shown you guys in a long time. Actually, I haven't shown you for a couple days, actually. I have, this is interesting because this is a CBS Films DVD, and this is a, this, is, this actually has the CBS Home Entertainment logo and the Lionsgate logo, which is, from the Lionsgate, which is just, the Lionsgate logo is just actually the exact same as the movie logo, just that they use it, like the de facto home video stuff that they do nowadays. This is a 2014 this is a this is a 2014. This is recorded in 2014. However, this is actually 2016. Right there's 2014. And this is 2016. Right there. I think you can see first, but whatever. At first, I thought this was a sequel, but it turns out my mother said it actually wasn't a sequel. And all these include all of these films. If I remember correctly, all these include Sylvester Stallone. This one is the original thousand and fourteen. This and if if you don't know already, I already got rid of my copy already. So whatever. Cares about that copy, anyways. And this is day two thousand and seventeen DVD pressing of is this two thousand eighteen. No, it is two thousand eighteen DVD pressing. I'm gonna go check. 
2018, and this is the 2000, I guess 2019, yeah, 2019 DVD of the Facing Planet Extractors, and this is just the Lance of Minute, looks like the same style as the Lionsgate logo. I don't think it's four minutes already. I do not know why I even bought some put in my collection, but whatever, it's, it's an HBO film movie. It's cool, at least, but I don't care about this movie that much. Especially with some people around the world, but. Don't, don't be me. Actually, whatever. No. This one is definitely is a really weird DVD I bought it at, a, at a thrift store, and it is. So, yeah, it's a documentary about what was McDonald's. I think you'll probably see a picture of it, but whatever. Yep, I actually got a copy of this. And this is my one and my first, my only, like, hard sharp video DVD. And I think this is this is a 2004 DVD. Sally's movie is actually formatted in 4x3, but it actually is 16 by 9 bars, so I'm not sure how to fix it, but whatever, I don't care. This is 100 minutes. This is a of the attractions. Samuel Gorman films, Totem Independent films, The Khan, and Studio Han Hudson film with a lot of companies. And this is not a Dolby Digital DVD if you don't know, so it isn't. It's a stereo crash. For the reason, I don't think not that much copies have this on there, so that's a cool thing to have. Probably the clothes for some reason. Here's the. I'm gonna go on something more. The Avengers, the complete series on DVD. But they actually bought us at a gift store. All of these in the gift store, except for the last one, because I bought that. This is uh, this disc is 161 minutes. 2011 DVD. And it, it's in Comic Sans. Because, and of course, it's in Comic Sans. Comic Sans. Mm. Here's Volume 2. I'm not showing you other movies. I would just actually a World Legend 2 is coming up to my prototype logo this app on YouTube, so pretty cool. Seven minutes instead. I don't. I'm not sure if this is correct, but I don't think season one and two, seasons one and two were released on Blu-ray. I think they did. One of the office actually was originally on DVD for only a, for only on Blu-ray for a couple of seasons, and then they released the complete series on Blu-ray. I'm right back, so that's cool. Oh, this is volume three. I think it's probably like a 2011 or something like that. Remember, I'm almost done anyways, but whatever. I didn't record. This is like almost gonna get 40 minutes. Oh my god. This is another. T- mm. 